what we have seen so far and is that by going through the statistics as well as looking at the mechanistic aspect, there is no evidence on how the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccines are linked or have directly caused some of the serious major medical events that we talk about. The last point to make is really around the need for continued vigilance. Some of you have already asked the question, what happens about long-term side effects? What happened to the long-term efficacy? This is why regulatory agencies like HSA, including the overseas counterparts, continue to monitor their situation. And I see that as a necessary step as we continue this vaccination rollout, not just in Singapore, but globally as well. So with that, I think Raymond, uh, in, his, in his ending, he has given five very important points. So I would only just highlight on one point, which is please do not be confused with the signals that have emerged from Tan Tock Seng Hospital, the clusters, to say that the vaccination is not effective. That is the furthest away from it because, in fact, from my, my professional perspective, actually the signal from Tan Tock Seng Hospital says that the vaccination helps because we know that it provides much better protection against the serious outcomes of infection. So vaccination with Pfizer and with Moderna, the current vaccines that we are rolling out in Singapore continue to be effective, not just locally, we have seen that in signals overseas as well. Mm -hmm.